Now, this case brings up plenty of concerns, especially for parents or caretakers of children. We have Dr. Christy Jenkins, the CEO of the Family and Child Abuse Prevention Center with us today. So what advice do you have for parents when it comes to discussing abuse? I think it's really important to have conversations with your children, have them early. So I think that folks get caught up in, oh, it's not time to have this conversation yet. But from the from birth on, name the private parts the correct names. Call a vagina a vagina, call a penis a penis. It's really incredibly important to use the proper names when you're talking with your children. I think being open is really important. Don't freak out about things if your children have questions because you want them to come to you. You want them to feel fully confident that they can trust you and that you won't freak out, that you won't lose your cool. So that's really important. I think um, having conversations often is really important because it's not a one and done situation. Um, also letting them know that their private parts are private. And so when you talk to them, they can think about a bathing suit. All, anything that's hidden by a bathing suit is a private part. And then also have a conversation with them about their mouth, that folks are not allowed to put anything in their mouth that they don't want in their mouth either. So, and I know for a lot of folks, this is very difficult to have these conversations, but um, also let them know that they are not in trouble and um, that teach them about what's the difference between a safe and unsafe touch. I would say the biggest thing is to believe your child. It, it's such a minute percentage of children who would ever um, falsify a claim about sexual abuse. So it's less than 3%. Mm. And so if your child comes to you and says something like that, there is something going on. And even say for the sake of argument that it was a fib, that they said something, it's because something else is going on and you still need to check that out. Okay. Well, you know, that was going to be one of my questions. If you are the adult and a child comes to you and they say they've been abused or there's a report of an abuse as the adult, what's the next step? What do you do once you have that information? Right. So if you are a trusted adult and a child comes to you and makes an allegation, you need to reach out to children's services. You need to reach out to law enforcement and let them know and they'll take it from there. And I think that folks oftentimes say, well, I don't have enough information. I need to investigate that. That's not your job. If you have a suspicion, if you have a fear, if a child comes to you and makes the disclosure, that is good enough. You need to make a call at least to Children's Services, if not in the police. Okay. Now, I know, unfortunately, abuse, specifically sexual abuse, it does. It happens all the time. I know this is, in part, your line of work here. And many times it doesn't get the national spotlight. When we're talking about uh, the national trial that is happening right now, do you have any takeaways that you're hoping this case brings to light? The, the only good thing that comes out of cases like this is that it gives folks a voice. And so people will see folks standing up and, um, and declaring their truth and letting folks know that they were abused. And so from that, we get a lot of strength because folks who um, have not reported might actually have the strength and the power to report. Because when we think about only 30% of people who have been sexually abused ever tell anybody, there's 70% of folks out there sitting back and watching and being fearful and not wanting to make waves, not still blaming themselves. And so when people come forward and speak that truth, it gives powers to those who haven't had a voice or a choice before. Sure. Well, Dr. Jenkins, thanks so much for being with us today. I know, as you mentioned, a tough conversation to have, but you, if you are an adult watching today, a few simple takeaways here. Make sure that you're listening to the children that might be coming you, to you with that trusted information. And then again, as Dr. Jenkins mentioned, take action by calling Children's Services or law enforcement. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you.